Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and today I am super excited. First of all, I welcome you all to this channel. And here you can see, today we will be doing complete PC build of latest Intel Core i7-700. Let me pick it and let me show you. So it looks like this. And uh, we will be pairing this with um, MSI Pro Z790P Wi-Fi motherboard. And this one is DDR5 compatible. And since this is Z790, which means that this have got better memory controller or better RAM controller than Z690. This also comes with PCIe 5 lane for graphic card. Unfortunately, it does not support in SSD. But as of now, there is no SSD that support PCIe lane 5. But even if in future something comes up, then we can utilize that same GPU port and convert that extra GPU slot for that PCI based SSD. Now, if I talk about cooling solution, here we have got this Deepcool AG620BK. And for RAM, here we have got this G-Skills RAM, which is clocked at 6000 megahertz. Although the base clock is 48 megahertz and for um, SSD I am using this crucial P5 plus SSD which is not crazy expensive as H5 Hynix or Samsung Pro but uh, comes at a decent price give us decent reliability have got good read and write speed you can see the review of these individual component in description down below. If I talk about the power supply here, I'm using this Cooler Master Z800 Gold power supply, which is gold rated and comes with 800 watt of capacity. And this I would say is decent and good enough and comes with a good combination of price to performance. If I talk about CPU cabinet, so I'm using Corsair 4000D cabinet and the biggest plus of this cabinet is its minimalistic design and it is not that costly at the same time it is very airy cabinet you can also see the triangular design pattern so this was all about the pc component that we're going to use in order to complete this pc build so without further ado let's jump into it so i'm gonna keep all these aside and let's start with our motherboard i'm gonna keep ram here and processor here yeah. let me quickly keep this cabinet also down and let's start with our motherboard let me quickly unbox it And I'm going to start uh, installation and assembly right above this static uh, poly bag so that you know. And these are some of components that you will be getting with this motherboard which are um, M.2 screw. And let's see what's more inside. So here we can see some SATA cable and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna and this DVD. As of now, we do not need anyone. So let's keep them aside and let's focus on our motherboard. So let's start installing CPU first. So let me get my CPU. This is CPU and let me quickly unbox it. And here is how this LGA1700 look like. And let me keep it aside. And let's open the CPU socket now. So in order to open CPU socket, you just need to press it like this down and just try to apply some tangential force toward this direction. And then that's how we can, you know, open it up. And now we need to lift it like this. And in order to assemble this CPU, we should have some kind of indications or indicator. And there we can see this triangle corner. So now what we need to do is we need to match this triangle corner. So you need to match this triangle. 
with this one okay and then you need to assemble how are you going to know that in which direction you need to install this but before even uh, installing the cpu fan let's install the base first so i'm gonna keep it aside and now i will be installing the cooler base which looks like this let me keep this aside now see the intel badge here so if you are using the same cooler don't forget to see this badge that will kind of assure you that you are using the correct one and simply lift your uh, motherboard do not touch any component and simply you know place place this like this and you can see it is not coming inside since uh, we also need to take care of one more thing which is adjusting this to the rightmost corner so you can do it like this if you are using this cooler okay now it should be able to you know go inside so again, um, let me try and now this time it went perfectly fine. So this is going to support this motherboard as well. Now the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, utilize these items so let's start with these boards Now we need to assemble these parts keeping this direction inside okay and you also need to keep in mind the direction of these RAM slots so I am installing it perpendicular okay and similarly with this one keeping this direction inside and perpendicular long and perpendicular to RAM slots. Now let's just put these thumb screw here and try to make these brackets at level 2 and now uh, lock it up using these screws. And make sure while installing these thumb nuts the direction should be like this not like this okay and the reason behind it it is from one side it is half threaded another side it is threaded until the end time now came to install the cooler so i already have removed one fan and now i will be assembling it in this way okay and before i install cooler i need to apply thermal paste here we go now 
after applying thermal paste we need to remove this and maybe we can also apply some thermal paste here and now we need to keep our CPU fan in this direction because this fan will suck air from here After installing this cooler, let me put back the fan which I removed it and let me quickly install the same way that it was before. So making it direction like this. Now here is this CPU fan look like but I am sure that it will provide optimal cooling to this motherboard and now let me quickly assemble the RAM. And in order to assemble the RAM you need to keep this thing in mind. Here you can see the instruction of the RAM which shows that how you need to install these dim slot. So let me quickly install the RAM and then I will also install the SSD so based on the instruction provided here we need to install the RAM on this slot and this slot first so I'm gonna do the same and also you need to keep in mind the direction of your RAM slot and in case if you are using the same RAM the direction need to be like this. So be sure to see the slot uh, before applying any force. Let me do this for my inner RAM slot first. Now let me have this new another RAM and check your slot before applying any pressure. Okay. After installing this fan, I also would like to connect these connectors and uh, what we need to do is we just need to connect them parallelly. So here we have got this male connector, here we have got this female and both these connectors are basically coming from same fan and I, I don't know why they make it like this but here you can see ground to ground and D to D and 5 volt to 5 volt like this which we need to connect to the motherboard connect this connector to here with its system fan and one connector which is CPU fan so basically both of these connections are of a you know system or CPU fan connection so uh, you can route the cable the way you want to so let's say you want to route cable this way you can do it or another way you can also do it. <clears throat> I also need to think of what needed to be done of this part. This look pretty weird. Now let me assemble the hard drive. So if I talk about this motherboard, this motherboard comes with uh, 4 M.2 slot. So one is this one, then another one is this, then this and then this. So you can basically pair this board with 4 SSD. And the good thing is the first SSD comes with this heatsink. So let me remove this heat spreader and now um, time now came to assemble the SSD. 
this SSD also comes with this screw, but you see the, the quality of the screw is not that great compared to the screws that you can see with this motherboard. And you can see it here. And uh, let me assemble it quickly. Just will go like this inside. And yeah, we have got this beautiful connector which will keep this drive locked okay now let me apply this heat sink back like this That's how we have successfully installed our M.2. This slot is for GPU. As of now, I'm not using uh, any GPU. So this is going to remain just like this. And not only you have got this slot, you also have got same uh, two more slots also available. But these are PCIe Gen 4 and this one is PCIe Gen 5, which makes this board one of high end boards available in the market. Now let me pair this with my cabinet. So I'm gonna put it aside. So here comes our cabinet and let me keep it this way. And install the screw. And I need to apply some pressure so that I can pop him out. And before even I install the motherboard, let me install this uh, power supply. For that, let me open another side panel. Same for this case, we need to apply some tangential force. Now here we can see um, we have space for hard disk drive if I want to keep so we can keep or add two full desktop size hard disk drive and now time now came to assemble my power supply which is this so we need to make this cooler direction downward okay and now we need to install it now we need to install this power supply using these four screw so let me quickly do that So our power supply is installed. Now time now came to install the motherboard. Now I'm gonna keep it like this. And now, um, since this board is ATX, I need to place it and let's start motherboard installation now this motherboard is really heavy and i am feeling very nervous while touching the parts i am thinking of maybe the possibility is i may bend this motherboard so that is why i am holding it like this and all the force now coming to this cooler and one thing before we install this motherboard you need to keep in mind 
that you need to align your board along this screw okay so just check for all these male screw and since this one is the highest one so you need to locate this screw and make sure that you have uh, you know properly kept this uh, this io cover here and then we're going to place this board like this okay slowly slowly and steadily now try to locate the same pin which i was talking about before before completely placing it down and there we go now here we can see we have successfully located this male connector and that's how you will able to locate each and every screw hole properly and believe me guys this motherboard is really happy or um, you know because of all these cpu cooler weight and everything so by doing this you will able to successfully place your motherboard perfectly now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tighten up my motherboard so i can easily install all the screw now Now here we go, we have successfully installed this motherboard and that's how now it look like from behind. This is flash BIOS button and then these are, uh, you know, other I.O. Now let's rotate it like this. So this is how the board look like inside. Now let's start making other connections. So I want to start with this uh, motherboard ATX power and then we're going to connect the CPU power that you can see there and then we will connect rest of connection so let's get started so this is ATX which uh, I need toward this side because here I have got ATX power so let me have a look if I can insert it from here and there we go so let's start with connecting our ATX. So here is ATX supply. Just you need to make sure the direction is correct. So see this lock direction. Now I will be applying force so that it sit inside. And there we go. Now I will keep this as less as possible, yeah. Now let's connect our CPU power. From here we need to find out which one is CPU power. Okay, so I think this one is CPU. Now let's take this here. Now again, let me rotate it for you guys and I need to connect it there. So let me keep it like this again and you can see 8 plus 8 CPU connector there. So I'm going to connect all, I'm going to connect both of these there. Again, you need to keep direction in mind. And that's how we have made two important connection which is CPU power and ATX power. Time now came to connect other component like the fan. So I can easily connect the fan to motherboard. Yeah. If I talk about other connector, I'm not going to use any SATA uh, power. I am also not going to use this PCIe since I am not using any GPU yet. Now let's connect reset switch reserve HDD LED, power LED and power switch. For that you need to find this JFP1 which comes with 9 pin and you can find it here at the starting. Now simply take these uh, cables out 
and connect all these cable based on the way it is shown in your motherboard guide so if you are using Z790P then you can follow with me so now I have connected all the connections inside so if you see here I have connected audio to audio here I have connected these all six pins unfortunately this cabinet do not comes with any hard drive indicator but I don't think so it matters a lot and then I also have connected this USB type C then I connected both USB type C and USB 3.0 or 4.0 cable that is present in this cabinet IO so after all these connections I believe uh, we have completed this setup all now we need to do is we need to properly route the wires so I'm gonna do that in a while and then we will be ready to boot the system so this is how now it looks like now I'm going to close this up and then I'm gonna peel off the film of this tamper which is the indication that we have finally completed the whole assembly There we go. Now let me quickly boot this system for the first time and it took around more than two hours to me to completely install it. And I could do it in less than two hours but I wanted to do it you know in a satisfied manner. Therefore I took time to complete this assembly and now let me boot it up. Now finalizing the connections. So let me insert the power cable and then this SDMI I also would like to add this Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas similarly other one so for your information this is Wi-Fi 6E and let's make it like this now let's connect SDMI and now let me add keyboard and mouse and there we go we can see the RGB light and let me also quickly show you the screen for the first time so as you can see it have directly booted in BIOS and you can see the specs how it look like it have got intel 13 generation core i7 13700 and ram which is running at 6000 megahertz i already have overclocked this ram if you want to know how i did it then i'm gonna make a separate video for that so that's all guys from my side in this installation this was really a very long video and please do like and subscribe to this channel and I'm gonna see you soon in my next video. Till then take care and bye bye.